Welcome to the AFR Saints channel, where we provide you daily content on your favorite team, the New Orleans Saints. Do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to leave your comments below and smash that like button. Who that? Hey, we got some breaking news here as the uh, NFL legal tampering period is going on. Uh, per Adam Schefter, Saints linebacker Zach Vaughn is uh, no longer going to be Saints linebacker Zach Vaughn. Per Schefter, uh, Saints free agent linebacker Zach Vaughn plans to sign a one-year deal with the Philadelphia Eagles. Her source. So Zach Vaughn out in New Orleans, of course, the former third round draft pick out of Wisconsin. This is one of the more perplexing ones uh, when you look at his time in New Orleans, four seasons as a Saint. And he came in out of Wisconsin. If you remember, he was a guy who was a really good pass rusher at Wisconsin. That was his MO. And a lot of mock drafts leading up to that draft in 2020 had Vaughn as a first round pick. Well, he went to the Combine. If I'm not mistaken, it was at the Combine that he failed a drug test and get a dilute sample, and it, it, it dropped him in the draft, and he ended up falling all the way into round three where the Saints took him at pick number 74, and the thought was, man, you've got to steal this, this guy who's a, a really good edge rusher who many thought could sneak into round one. You end up getting him in round three because he had a dilute sample at the Combine, and it just never materialized. Uh you know, he, um, as a rookie, had just seven tackles playing mostly on special teams. It wasn't until this year that we actually saw them use him a bit as a pass rush specialist, and he ended up with two sacks this year. But the crazy thing is those two sacks Zach Bond got in 2023 were the first two sacks of his career. He, he, he was shut out, Ofer, bagel, donut. The first three years of his career, no sacks until this year. So maybe Philly, maybe a change of scenery, maybe a different defense will make sense for Bond. It's it's just so interesting to me because the Saints have always, when you look at defensively, the type of player physically that the Saints have used to come off the edge, it's generally a bigger player like Cam Jordan and Trey Hendrickson and Look at the guys they've drafted, Peyton Turner and Marcus Davenport. You know, Bond's 225 pounds. You know, he's a 3-4 outside linebacker, whereas the Saints have more come off the edge with true 4-3 ends. So it was, a, it was an odd fit from the beginning, and they never really figured out how to maximize Zach Bond, try to play him a little bit on the inside. That didn't work. Kind of one of the concerns we have when we talk about Harold Perkins at LSU, right? It's a similar comp there. He's not an inside backer and he's kind of in the wrong defense for what he wanted. So that's a guy I wouldn't be surprised if he went to the right spot and was able to maximize his ability. Just wasn't in New Orleans. So Zach Bond on, on his way out. Um, the Saints are welcoming a couple of visitors this week. And because we're talking about edge rushers, I guess it's worth bringing this one up first. Um, Marshawn Neeland is a defensive lineman out of Western Michigan. And this one fascinates me for one very obvious reason. So Marshawn Neeland went to the Senior Bowl and showed out in a big way at the Senior Bowl. Had a great, great week at the Senior Bowl. But on top of that, it wasn't just his performance on the field. It was his relative athletic score. Oh, yes. If you're a Saints fan, you know all about the relative athletic score. The relative athletic score is the measure that uh, has led the Saints to draft guys like Marcus Davenport and Peyton Turner. Basically, you got a relative athletic score. The Saints are interested. And by the way, Marshawn Neeland has a relative athletic score of 9.54. That's out of 10. That would rank him, if you went back and looked at every defensive tackle from 1987 to the present day, that's 1,620 defensive tackles. That would rank him number 75. Since 1987, 
Oh, he's a wet dream for the Saints front office. With a relative athletic score of 954, small school guy that went to the Senior Bowl and performed really well, huge relative athletic score. Oh, yes. This is Marcus Davenport. This is Peyton Turner. That is This is who the Saints are bringing in to visit. Ran a 4.75 in the 40. He had the fastest 20-yard shuttle of any defensive lineman at the Combine at 4.18 seconds. Oh, yes. Mark this one down, y'all. Marshawn Neeland out of Western Michigan. And by the way, just look at him physically. He's listed at 6'3", 267 pounds. We just talked about how the Saints like big ends, right? Trey Hendrickson was 6'4", 270. Cam Jordan, 6'4", 287. Here you have a guy that's 6'3", 267. So in that mold of a Trey Hendrickson, of a Cameron Jordan, what they like. So you know, you you get your top 30 visits if you're an NFL team, and they're using one here on Marshawn Neeland out of Western Michigan. The Saints need an edge rusher. I mean, you've got Cam Jordan, who's coming off the least productive season he's had since his rookie year. He had two sacks. You've got Carl Granderson, but after that, Isaiah Foskey, who certainly had a disappointing rookie year, Tano Passigno, who's more of a rotational guy, you need an option there. And if you end up going offensive line, as I hope they do, at 14 overall, what are you looking at doing in round two? Are you looking edge rusher again like you did last year with Isaiah Foskey? Are you looking later in the draft? You don't have a third or fourth round pick, but you got a handful of fifth round picks, four fifth round picks. Could you move up to get a player potentially like... Um, like Neeland, if in fact he's there. By the way, it's spelled K-N-E-E-L-A-N-D for those who are interested. Neeland, like a knee, like your knee. K-N-E-E-L-A-N-D. Uh, just another play. Look, if if you're serious enough about a player to fly them into your facility and spend a day with them, you're serious about them, about, about potentially drafting them. So we'll see if that ends up being someone the Saints pull the trigger on. But, boy, you saw that relative athletic score pop. You know the Saints are just salivating over the opportunity to draft the next Small school show. Look, Trey Hendricks improved for them. They can hit with that model. Unfortunately, he was his third round pick. The the first round pick she used on Peyton Turner and Marcus Davenport went belly up. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please leave your comments. I love to interact. And be sure to hit the red subscribe button below.